what a nice looking library. All this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Everyone's favorite journalist reporter, Amy Rose, is, is hot on the scoop. I'm heading out. I'm heading out. You've been fabulously helpful. Already? Before you go? Espio and I wanted to give you a present. My presents? You're both so sweet. Thank you. Uh, Victor, it seems you have more guests. Amy, there you are. Have you found any leads yet? Oh, the detective pair needs help from a birthday girl? Ah, she knows everyone's allowed and sassy on their birthday. This tip is just too juicy to ignore. I'll see you all around. Don't worry, Sonic. I'll be the one to avenge you and quick. But how are you gonna leave? The door of the next core is locked. Oh, no doubt the birthday girl. The birthday girl has a master key. All right, the birthday girl gets the master birthday key. Of course, it's birthday privilege. I'll solve this case for anyone else. Bye. Amy may be hasty, but she's tough. Now then, what are you two doing looking mighty suspicious, I say? Well, I'm the detective, so I can't be the murderer, and so are you two. And I, uh, just making sure things go well. Well, things aren't going great. Not to be sure if you forgot, but there was a murder. Well, I mean, besides that... Besides murder! Well, my social skills non-existent. I'm Vector the Butcher, and I'm licensed to handle raw meat. And I must be a poet. Poetry, a resonant message from a poet reader meant to challenge a delicate uh, prospectives with the most romantic of prose. Can I hear some? Sure, uh... Oh god, we got ourselves a little play here. Teardrops in the spring, can you hear me sing? La 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 dee 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 dee. What was that? I have more if you like. Cherry blossoms in the spring. I, uh, satisfied for, for now, thanks. At least he's rhyming, I suppose. Why are I here to establish both of your alibis? Can you walk us through what happened after Amy had everyone leaving the dining car? Oh, sure, it's simple. We've just explained this to Amy, actually. When we were all sent off, Rouge, Blaze, Shadow, and Sonic all passed through to the li library car. Where Amy told me and Espio to stay, I promptly picked a book off the shelf and made myself comfortable. Vector got bored, so he left to see what Knuckles was up to in the saloon car. Yep. Where was Rouge? What? We happened to see her lipstick stain on a cup in the saloon car. Rouge came along in the library car, seemingly looking for something. Then she went uh, searching the saloon car. Oh yeah, we're looking at the map. She then came back shortly after, and we heard her shout, No way, no way, at the brunch room to stand over there. Then she left back the casino car before Shadow came through and locked the door. I wonder what she found. Uh, she's obviously been on a hunt for something. After Rouge left, Shadow walked through the casino car, then entered the library car and locked the door behind him. Most importantly, why was Shadow why has Shadow been locking doors? Shadow walked through the library car to the saloon car where Knuckles and I were playing game. Knuckles and I were playing games. He insisted on showing us up at Super Monkey Ball. And I got so engrossed by the rolling monkeys action, I hardly noticed when 
Shadow left the saloon car. I guess he walked through the library car into the casino car again, locking the door behind him. Then returned to the lunge car where he was meant to be stationed. When Becky came back, we realized Knuckles locked the door to the saloon car. We were stuck in the library car. Okay, so to summarize this so far, like, Vector and then Rouge both entered the saloon and then had a drink. Rouge then left. Vector, I guess, stayed in. Then Shadow came in and then went to the saloon. And then, like, Shadow decided to give a shot at the Super Monkey Ball game. And then Vector and Knuckles played. But also, obviously, Shadow didn't stay long because, like, I guess, like, hmm. Shadow didn't stay long, so he now he went back and then went up. So, like, how the event goes that, obviously, Vector and Rouge came in, get a drink, then Shadow showed up, and then they played for Monkey Ball. Gotcha. That, that probably makes sense. That's how the train sped up. We're worried about the bookshelves falling on us. That got through it. We sat trapped here until Amy arrived asking questions. She's the one that told us who someone murdered Sonic. Uh, yeah, and that's all that happened. Hmm. Of all the locked doors, it seems Vector or Espio couldn't have left the library car or the saloon car. Thank you both in cooperation. We're just gonna peek around and we'll return for any questions. If you return with any meat, I'll chop it up for you. If you like to be serenade with a poem, I got you covered. Thanks, guys. Her alibi seems solid enough, but we should still search for clues. What we're looking for is any evidence that proves what they're saying is true. We need to confirm Vector's reason for leaving his poet and determining if Espio is actually in the library car reading. Because the question is, like, surely, like, Espio would vouch that, like, Shadow has passed the car before... Whatever, I don't know. Alright, let's look for evidence. Hey there, Master Hand. Poor thing, that arm really is struggling to clean up this car. To be fair, I wouldn't want to clean up this mess either. Let's leave it alone and do its thing. Yeah, probably for the best. But wait, let me look at the map here. How many, like... I probably shouldn't be looking at this, but why is there a... Why is this up there? Like, the corporal... I probably should not be looking at this. I was just looking at it just to study the map layout and, like, uh... Who knows? May maybe it's just a bug. I don't know. Easter eggs. Chaos Cola. Check out our book chub. Book of the Month. The Gone Gal. Nice. Look at this, OC. A child hangs preciously from a tree branch and the large text below hang in there. Well, I really, I really needed to see this. This little child's hanging there, refusing to use his wings to fly to safety because choosing the hard way is often the most rewarding. That's beautiful. If this child can stick his principles and find strength, then I can too. There's no way that there was much thought put into this poster, right? I don't know. Probably so. Let's get some books. Same books on the ground. I wish we had time to pick them all up. Sadly, I have no interest in picking up these books. My nose is so dang itchy. I'm sorry if I'm itching my nose so much. A lot of these were knocked out because of the train's speeding up. But Rouge pulled a lot of these out, too, searching for something. What reckless behavior. I feel sorry for the poor books. The spines are creasing. They're opening too far. This kid feels empathy for everything. Oh, 
Why is this specific book, like, highlighted? What's this red, bright red book? Oh, yuck. It reeks of an evil scientist, Dr. Eggman. Yep, this is Dr. Eggman's autobiography and recipe book. What kind of recipes? Who cares? I wouldn't trust any book he's written. It's weird that it's even here. Maybe people are appreciating an omelet. You may not be wrong. Who knows? Oh, the Bonchers. There are travel destination ideas here. Like amusement parks, caverns, hotels, restaurants. Oh. Alright, look at this. There's a couple of maps here. This seems to be a map of a library car. The books are categorized by, by general, which are listed here. I love a good overhead map. Let's take it. Library map is added to your inventory. Should we take this butcher, um, brocher about the cave too? Look, there's this statue. Nah, leave it. Oh yeah, that's fair. Nobody shares fondness for caves. Look at the rock. Okay, so we're right here. I'm looking at the, uh, like, chair layout. I wonder if that's relevant. I think it's the same dialogue, right? Yeah, same dialogue. Trash! I said, but there's nothing here. Ah. Are you... Are you sad that... There was nothing to be in the trash bin. No, I'm all right. I'm sure. I'm sure there will be something hidden in the next trash bin we find. You really think so? Um, yeah. You gotta stay optimistic. Yeah. Okay. The trash bin is always hiding. All right. You're pretty unconventional, but I like that. One of those days, one of those trash bins will actually have something. Why am I highlighting the table? Is this table out of place? The table's right there. Let's take a look. Let's pause and sit for a second. These chairs are very comfy. So plush. Puts me right in the mood to read. Makes me want to take a nap, personally. In fact, maybe I'll rest my eyes a little bit. Mari, no, don't fall asleep. There's been a murder, remember? That had to ring for every time a murder ruined my nap time. Yeah, who knows? Maybe I'll be the next target. That would not be good. Then we got the world. The globe of our marvelous planet. I haven't traveled around much, but the islands are fun, but I like to love to some of uh, countries. It's a lot of fun, honestly. Plenty of wonderful people and shops. Sounds perfect in a vacation. The conductor was talking about Spagonia. If you ever been there. I have actually. If you ever visiting, be sure to visit the university and say hi to Professor Pickle. It's a Sonic and Leash reference, by the way. Uh, he'll tell you everything about the area and make one scrumptious sandwich. I'll keep that in mind, thanks. Chad supposedly walked through the library car before going into the saloon. When Shadow left the library car, he locked this door on his way out. There's gotta be a reason why he's doing this. Should we make a note of it? I'll do, we should. Shadow's locked out to your inventory. I guess we got some evidence now. Any other evidence we got? Like, and maybe like, if I just work my, my mouse around, eventually something will get highlighted. Oh, there's first a higher bench. I guess we can just talk to them and see if I get anything in. Some fancy a poem. Oh, let's do. How about a poem about trains? Locomotive in motion. I think I lost my lotion. The window shows the ocean. Oh wait, there's my lotion. Uh, thanks. I actually really like that one. How 
How about space? I made it up to space with my beloved antique vase, but a mistake in my haste dropped the vase with my embrace, and my antique I must now replace. What caused you to drop the vase? I don't read too deeply into just a poem. He hasn't thought of it, has he? Can't take your orders. I have a poem about this. My star stomach babbled, though I ignore the grumbling tummy. For the eggs I receive are scrumbled when I ask my eggs, Sunny. Oh wow. We don't serve any eggs on the train, though. My talent is wasted on you, Lot. Fortunate. Hey, Vector. Did you bring me any meat to chop? I may be a butcher, but they compensated my meat cleaver before getting onto the train. You actually tried to bring a knife on the train? I'm a man with infensivity tales. Without a knife, I'm just a chief. I'm just a chef uh, in a ketchup stained apron. I'm not a butcher. I think if you had a knife on you, we definitely think you were a murderer. <laughs> but what if I had the knife? You know, I'm not the biggest fan of this line of thought. Uh, can I take your orders? Oh yes, please, I'm starved. Actually, I'm off duty at the moment. The murder mystery is more important. Now why would you show me the menu to me? Come on, Marty, why would you tease him like that? I hear the thought. I can trust you and fool for me. Look, Marty, you made him a fool. I'm a fool. Just give him my order. No, I just wanna... No, I wanna give him an order. Dang it. Can't really use that. Is there no other evidence that I can, like, scalp out? Because, um... I'm about to interrogate them next, because I can't seem to highlight anything else unless I'm missing something. look at, like, the layout, see it perfectly matches, see, but that also requires too much input, that, 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 hey, you know what, let's interrogate them, if we have lack of evidence, I'm so sorry, you know, let me save my progress in case, like, things go horribly wrong, about you? I'm trying to find more evidence, but I can't find anything else. We need to find more evidence, but like, what evidence do we have? Stupid right arrow, you're always... I almost never spot these. Like, these left and right arrows, they're always hidden. It's really annoying. I wish I could stop and look at these books. But Sonic needs me. No time to rest. Alright, let's move on then. Well, I mean, a little peek wouldn't hurt. He's scavenging for all the books, titles, excitingly. He's like a kid in a candy shop. Or, in this case, a genius in a training library. And that's odd. I know some books have fallen out of the floor, but everything but... Every book of, on these shelves is in alphabetical order. But this one... The Mirage Express Manual. User's guide for a Mirage Express Manual, the train we're currently on. Do you think someone found it on the ground and put it back? Maybe, but it's interesting. Let's make a note of this. But like... So Terry, Vector, and SBO, what really happened? We know that 
here's the thing, like, the previous clown cart, clown cart, the, play, the previous cart was the Mirage, like, bar or whatever. Vector was there, so let's, I guess we'll go and interrogate Vector first, I guess. Oh, I guess we'd bring them both in, I guess. So, the two of you don't believe us, eh? It's not that I don't trust either of you, but I wouldn't be a proper detective without examining a validation of your alibis. Marty and I are here to confirm two things. Why Vector left to go play games with Knuckles, and if Espio really was reading a library card. Vector, we'll start with you. Why did you leave the library car to uh, visit Knuckles? We're prepared to present evidence if need. Oh, that's easy. I got bored. What? I wasn't entertaining him enough. It seems Vector enjoys being social. Plus, if we're instructed to mungle, I remember the arcade machine in the saloon car, so I figure I'd go check it out. It seems to line up with information we gathered. And that brings us to our attention. Espio, Rouge entered the library car, found something, then left. You said you immediately stayed in reading, but were you actually reading the entire time? You were in the library car. Of course he was. Why are you vouching for him? Once Espio starts reading, he doesn't stop until it's done. I've seen it happen. Okay, you're vouching for back for SBO, interesting. It must have been a good read. What was the book? SBO doesn't owe you that, detective. What if it was embarrassing? What kind of things do you I read? If you want to talk, I have a hunch of what book that might be. Marty, could you help me out? I have a Mirage Express manual. A manual? You think SBO was reading instructions? What argument could you possibly have to support this? Okay, let's think. Ow. What, what? Oh, incoming obstacle. Crazy stuff. But nothing I can't handle. Shut up, phone. There are books scattered around the floor, but the, remain but the remaining books on the shelves were all in alphabetical order. All except this manual, meaning someone at the very least picked up the manual and put it back in the incorrect place. Ooh, he's sweating. The lack of attention to detail isn't normally like you, SBO. Hey, now! I won't have you insult my pal like this. Calm down, Vector. I know you mean well, but I can handle myself. Apologies, SBO. A butcher and poet friendship can form anywhere. That is indeed the book I was reading. The Mirage Express Manual trains are cool. In that case, we like to ask a few questions. Stop flying in my eyes, stupid fly. Um, about the manual, if you don't mind. Could you ask SBO some questions about the manual? Just flip to the page, ask away. I see a quiz, SBO, about manual. Page check, quiz them on. If I be hearing that noise, someone's lying on our lawn. Which page should I quiz them on? Can I actually look at the book? Cause like... Uh, I guess 14. Okay, um, efficient on extreme accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless. Robotic arms during the events, they can perform a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up trash and messes afterwards. 
I remember the conductor saying betraying can't clean itself. But I have a feeling betraying company just didn't want me to just didn't want to hire any janitors. The robotic arms also detect weapons or explosives being brought onto the train, and two in passenger safety. Seems like SBO aced the question. Him a number one. Bro, you're giving me different pages? What the heck? Let's just go that one. What is the Mirage Express's cancellation policy? No refunds. And you will be charged with no show fee. This does not apply if you are over age of 65. Yeah, the person who made this rule must have been over 65. Last one, Marty. 402. What was implemented to support the conductor duties and ease general train obligations? An intelligent data processing system. It works in tandem with the conductor to ensure smooth travel for guests. I remember this. The train is an autopilot, but it can't access its full suite of capabilities without conductor present. Now, did I pass a little test? I'm gonna say yes, you did. I'm kind of surprised you actually read, like, the entire book in, like, I would like to say, like, a few minutes before the murder happened. Totally. It's wild you were able to retain all this information so quickly. Poet's brain is often surprising. I don't know if I'd be barging about that. Clearly I read the manual, those answers feel far too specific to be guessed. And you both have the nerve to question my buddy like that. Don't we want to be supporting folks who read? You have to admit though, reading the entire time a murder occurred does sound a bit suspicious even if it's true. But he answered all my questions so calmly, that's very impressive. No, no, I understand everyone's cautious attitudes. That there was the only one to see me reading, after all. My alibi is hard to substantiate, despite being the truth. Well, you definitely read through the manual, so I suppose we can... SBO, is that true, that there was the only one to see you reading? Yes, that's, that's correct, problem. Frankly, I don't believe that can be true, and we have evidence to back it up. Marty? We should put a piece of evidence linked to someone who also saw. Uh, probably Shadow, if I had to guess. Shadow's lock. Please, pray tell what this has to do with anything. Where up, Marty? attempts I have before they will like accuse me as being the killer despite me actually not doing it. Shadow walked through the library car to get to the saloon car where he set the original high score in the arcade machine. Yeah but I ended up being it and it was and it wasn't a high score long. Croc for natural gamers. SPO said he saw Shadow enter the library car but he mentioned nothing about Shadow's return. He only mentions that Vector came back. When Shadow left Knuckles and Vector in the saloon car, Espio was fully seated reading his book for a good while at this point. But what about Rouge? We know Shadow had to walk back through the library car when 
he left the saloon car. So there's absolutely no way Shadow and Espio didn't notice one another on Shadow's return trip. I mean, it was a simple slip up. I was just fully immersed in my book that I didn't even notice Shadow. Telling me the sound, the sound of doors opening and locking wouldn't have caused you to look up. Well, you see, I can sense Espio's desperation here. Defending the argument that he was reading the entire time isn't easy. So, if so, didn't you didn't see Shadow returning from a saloon car to lock all the doors? Then, at that moment, you were really in the library car. But how would Espio leave? Shadow locked all the doors, and no one saw Espio in the saloon car. It's a mystery, my dear Marty. Um, one that I would love for Espio to solve. You gotta believe me. That cool demeanor is vanishing. I was so involved in my book, I didn't notice Shadow pass back through the library car. Honest. When Vector returned, he even had to tap me on the shoulder to get my attention. Yeah, I think I remember doing that. I must avenge my friend's death, so I'll ask you again, Espio. If you weren't there for Shadow to see you reading, then how did you leave the library car? I wasn't. I didn't. Why well, doesn't this seem right to me? Tails definitely feels like he's on to something, but I didn't see it. Was Espia simply sitting reading, or did he somehow vanish to not notice Shadow's return? I mean, he does have the ability to turn invisible, actually. I'm gonna join Tails for this one, I'm sorry. Sorry, SBO. But, like, you have the ability to camouflage. That could be... that could be an argument. No, I can't interrupt Tails, he's onto something. Protect the passengers aboard the train. They must be taken care of. Stop with the same flashback. If you fail, the lawsuits will be treacherous. Don't allow such an old, feeble soul to get sued. Hey, Tails. We have a piece of evidence that can answer all of our problems. I'm a fellow associate. Lay it on me. What piece of evidence show SBO, Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another? Probably this library map. Probably this library map, I guess. 55 rings. So I'm just gonna focus on beating the stage. Alright. The library map. Oh, oh, I see. See, the exits, they're right across from one another. A straight path. If Shadow walked down, straight down the path, there's a way Espio and Shadow couldn't have seen one another. Looks like you have a point out where, where exactly on the map you mean. Where could Asio have been for Shadow to not see him? Probably, like, here. Interesting. That's where I was sitting, reading my book. Because I noticed that, like, there's, like, a miniature bookshelf in the way. I can second this. When I returned from the saloon car, Espio was in the same spot. Well, that confirms it, then. You see Shadow, and... 
You see, Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another from the spot. Because a bookcase is in the way. There's no way Shadow could have seen Espio or vice versa. It makes a lot of sense why you never mentioned Shadow's return, Espio. There's just no way you would have seen him. I apologize for losing my cool back there. I felt like I was gasping despite telling the truth. But I'm glad you you all believe me now. Your alibi isn't the most art right, but I have no further points. Thank you for both answering all of our questions. We did it. Another pair of alibis validated. Too many locked doors to worry about, but I'm glad everything straightened itself out at the end. Well, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna crash here for a bit. These chairs are so comfy. Likewise, I could be a briefer. Sadly, our work isn't done. I have plenty of questions for Rouge, and especially Shadow. Oh, it seems the door to the next car is open. Amy must have kept it open when she passed through here earlier. And that's our cue to, uh, to leave. See you later, Vector and SBO. Give a heck if you need any meat chop. Say the word. I'll keep my poetry sharp for both of you. A murderer is on the loose. While doors keep getting locked. Tick tock tock goes the clock. While their heroes are in the caboose. At this point, I feel pretty confident that our tech abilities were really doing this. Oh, Mari, let's see what's next. And I think we're gonna... I think I'm gonna stop this recording session for today. We'll play more maybe tomorrow or something like that. Just, uh, have some fun. You know, let me leave a backup save just in case, like, something bad happens. But, ladies and gentlemen, that, of course, is the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. There, of course, will be more parts later down in the next few days or so. I don't know when I'm gonna upload this. So, uh, as always, if you guys enjoyed this, like, miniature, like, let's play, let me know in the comments below. And, uh, yeah, that's it, folks. Tomorrow's for one signing out. Have yourself a fantastic night. Make sure to subscribe, hit the like, share, subscribe, with bell notification turned on, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao.